Right, welcome to part five uh, on the synthesis uh, series. So in this one, we're going to look at uh, filter envelopes. So we've looked previously at the amp envelope, um, which basically shapes the volume of the sound over time. Um, so the filter envelope basically works in the same way, and that's going to uh, kind of shape the tone of the uh, the sound that you create over time. Um, another way to think about it is it's basically it's just kind of automating the, the filter, sort of opening and closing. Um, I kind of sort of, I've always sort of struggled with the filter envelopes. I don't know why. It took me ages to get my head around them, whether it's my aging brain or what, I don't know. But um, I understand them now, but it, I don't know. So if you're struggling to understand the filter envelopes, you're not alone. Uh, and I don't know why, because they're quite straightforward once you get your head around them. Slightly different to the amp envelope, um, because you we do have um, sort of a... A difference in uh, intensity where whereas with amp envelope if we're just sort of looking on here um it's kind of either on or off um whereas with the filter envelope we we do have a bigger range on the intensity okay down here which i will explain uh in the course of this video right so in the same way as previous videos uh we're going to be looking at using analog uh in ableton live the telelectro the free um VST synth and also a hardware synth over here. We're going to stick with uh, looking at the micro brute for the hardware demonstration. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at we're just going to get a, a, a simple um, envelope from the amp. Um, so we're going to basically just have what I would call a note on note off. So we're going to have a, a instant attack basically, uh, full sustain, no decay and no release. Okay, so we just got the uh, on off uh, sound. Let's go down an octave because that's a very annoying. Um, octave range uh we've got there right so the filter octave what am i talking about filter octave the filter envelope um so it is this section obviously there's the filter and here is the envelope so we have exactly the same um sort of settings as the amp envelope the attack stage the decay stage the sustain amount and then the uh the release stage uh we have the same on the telelectro so if we look at the filter section here uh, we have the attack, decay, sustain, and release. Um, and then over on the micro brute, uh, it uses the envelope here based on the setting that we have on here. Again, attack, sustain, decay, and release on there. So they all sort of work on the same basis. Um, so at the moment, uh, the filter envelope is having no effect on the sound because here, the envelope is at zero. So this is the kind of the intensity of the uh, filter envelope. So it goes from minus 16 to positive 16. And when it's on zero, it's basically, it's turned off. It's not doing anything. Um, so let's say we want, let's just turn the frequency. So let's say we want our filter to sort of do this. Okay, to gradually open over time. So to do that, we would use the attack um, amount. So what will happen is whenever we play the note, okay, the uh, the frequency cutoff, it will start at whatever it's set here, okay, and then it would open, and the amount it would open would be set by the amount that we um, put the amp envelope to, um, and then obviously it will open over time based on this setting here. So let's just go, we're going to go for a, uh, the linear rather than the exponential. So Exponential kind of gives us curved lines. Linear is uh, straight lines like that, which makes it a bit easier to understand. So we're going to have a tack time of, I don't know, three seconds. So we can kind of hear that. Um, so we're going to start around about 2.2K on the cutoff. And if we put the envelope up to, I don't know, about six or something. So if we play the note now, let's see what happens. Okay, so it's... Basically, what's happening is, if I turn that off now, it's doing this. Okay, and it's going up to around about there. If we wanted it to open fully, we would just increase the intensity of the envelope. So if we go right up to 16, the, amp, the envelope will open right the way. Sorry, the amp there, not the amp. The filter cutoff frequency will open all the way to the top. Okay, like that, all the way up there. All right, so if I just show you that. Okay, now that's obviously because it's opening further than the previous example, it's going to open quicker because it's got further to go. So if we turn the envelope down a little bit, you'll hear it's... Okay, it's a more gradual. Let's in fact just get rid of any uh, decay and sustain for now. 
Yeah. Okay. Because what's happening is the cutoff frequency on that is probably only going up to sort of about there. So it's only got a small distance to travel over two point whatever seconds it is there. Obviously, if we were going from there to fully open, it's going to have to do it quicker because it's got a, a further a, a, a further distance to travel. So that's what your amp envelope intensity is all about. Um, if we set that to, let's go minus 16 and start with the filter open, it's basically going to do it in reverse. It will close the filter. Okay, so that's basically closing the filter from basically fully open to fully closed in the space of 2.65 seconds. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Let's turn that back up to a positive um, amount. So let's say we want our envelope, our filter, sorry, to sort of start here, go up to full, and then come down sort of to here. So that's going to be the sustain level, all right? So which is set by this bit here. So let's say we want the let's say we want it to go back down to about half. So it's going to sort of start. We'll start it around here. It will go up to full. That's the attack stage, and then the decay time. So I'm going to set that actually pretty much the same as the um, attack time, roughly. Um, so what's going to happen is it will take 2.65 seconds to go fully open. It will then take another 2.81 seconds, I've got it set to, to go down to the sustain level. So what's happening is it's going to start there. It will take two seconds to go up to there, and it will take two seconds to come roughly back down to there. The moment, let's have no release. Okay, so let's have a listen to that. Hold on, let's start a bit lower. Take that sustain level down a bit because it's not having much effect. Okay, so we had quite a quick. Um, let's just go right down there. Let's have a, a longer delay, decay, so you can hear it. Okay, so let's just make these a little bit shorter. Okay, so hopefully you can hear that it's basically got the effect of going dun and then back to sort of somewhere around there. I'll go a little bit higher on that. You've got to have that. That's it. If we bring a bit of resonance in, it'll have more. Kind of more effect, you can hear it going down. Okay, so you can hear that. Okay, so it's taken quite a long while to go down, but hopefully you can hear. Basically what's happening is the filter is opening, it's closing, not fully closing, until we get to the uh, sustained level. So what you remember is your attack is a time-based um, parameter. The decay is a time-based parameter, and the sustain is the level parameter. So basically where you set that, it's kind of like setting the uh, the frequency. Uh, cut off dial now release if we bring some release in that's not going to have any effect at the moment because we've got a note on note off shape on the amp envelope. okay so we would need to bring some release time in here otherwise we're not going to hear any effect of that again let's go linear okay so we've now got a longer note and then the release time is how long it will take to go from the sustain level basically back down to uh the filter being at its starting point. Uh, so on this is going to take 1.4 seconds. So when you take your finger off the key, it will. Okay, let's just make that a little bit longer. Not that long. We'll make it a little bit more obvious. Okay, so it's going down to the sustain level is there. And then we'll let the finger go. You can hear then it, it, the filter kind of gradually closes from the sustain level. So say the sustain level was there, it will then close back down to there. So let's go with the filter, start with it completely closed. Okay, you can hear it going down to the sustain level. And then when I let go of my finger now, it will then go back down to closed again. So let's just go with that. Okay, and then it closes again when we let go. Hopefully that makes sense. So pretty much basically what, what's happening is it's doing this. 
Okay, so that's the the um, that's the attack time going to fully open. If this is on sixteen, if this wasn't on sixteen, it, on lower number it wouldn't go fully open. But it's going from there to there. It's then going down to the sustain level, and then when I let go of my finger, my finger off the note, it's then going back down to zero. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, it, it's kind of useful to start, I think, with analog because it has this visual representation and you could see. So there's the filter opening. There it is going down to the sustain amount and there it is closing. Now on the towel, we've got... Uh, let's just change these settings. Um, so let's bring the filter down here. Let's give it a bit of resonance. Okay, so if I bring the attack up... Okay. It's not going to make any difference at the moment because we've got to use this the contour so that's kind of like the contour of the uh of the filter the so this is this dial here is the same as uh this here so it's basically it's your intensity of your amp envelope so if we go right the way to the top uh if we press the now okay we can hear that let's put the attack up a little bit okay you can hear the filter opening it's kind of having that effect it's kind of doing that let's go and if we bring the sustain level down a bit if we give it a bit more resonance you can kind of hear it's like a filter sweep you'll hear it going down let's take that down a little bit okay so you can hear it opening and closing again release going to function exactly as before but that's not going to have any effect unless we have some release on the sound so let's dial a bit of that in. okay so we get nice sounds as we go through um there so yeah just remember it's your contour dial on that is the intensity of your um there your amp envelope same principle over on the on the hardware on the micro brute um so We've got the amp envelope amount here. So this is the intensity again, which goes from, let's do it with this hand so you can see, which goes from a negative amount to a positive amount. So if we let's get a sound. So again, I'm, I'm not going to use the, I'm going to have the, um, the amp envelope basically turned off. So it's just note on note on on gate here. Okay, which is going to give us that sound. Uh, I've got no, let's bring some resonance in because you can hear it then when it sweeps up and down. Um, so no envelope setting at the moment. So if we dial in the full amount of the envelope. Okay, so at the moment it's not going to do anything because we've not given it any uh, anything any instructions down here. So let's bring the attack up. Okay, and then... So if you take the cutoff down a little bit more. So if you turn the amp envelope down a little bit, it's not going to have as much effect. Okay, the filter's not going to open as much because that's down a little bit. Okay, so if that's all the way up the full, the filter will basically open all the way up. Okay, uh, so they all work the same. Once you you understand the uh, the basics, uh, the basis of it, it's um, yeah, they they all do the same job. It's just remembering that different um, synths may have different name things differently, such as the tell. It's the, the contour thing, but it's all the same principle. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Uh, so go away and have a play with your filter envelopes. Um, and you can create some nice interesting sounds with them. Uh, let's just go back actually very quickly. One thing I forgot on the analog is if you remember on the amp section, if you've watched that video, uh, we could loop the, uh, the filter, which we can also do on here. So if we loop it here to that, um, so yeah, let's just loop that. You've got to play about with the settings a little bit to get it to sort of, uh, do something. Okay, so you can hear Okay, so you can kind of hear it repeating there. So it sort of loops the, this one loops the attack decay and release section. Let's stick some. Okay, 
okay, both of you get the idea. Yeah, again, you can mess about with that. And it, it almost kind of like turns it into a bit of an LFO sort of thing uh, going off with uh, uh, with the the loop function, which is quite a nice feature on analog. Uh, I've not seen that on uh, many other things. So, uh, yes, you can make some pretty cool sounds with that. So, okay, I'm going to end it here. Um, thanks for watching this one. I will see you in part six when we will cover whatever we cover in part six because I can't think what is up next. Um, but, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Share the videos around. If you've got any uh, suggestions or any requests for any future videos, then uh, stick them in the comments box below. Um, and if you kind of like my music, acidy, electronic, ambienty stuff, then go and check me out on Spotify and iTunes and whatever your digital um, music player of choice is. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next part. Cheers. <laughs>